Electric car technology. Hey, Dan. Hello, Joe. Yes, we do. In fact, I'm in the back seat of this thing just to show you that. <laughs> Take a look at this car. Unless you want to pull out and show this car. Dave Stahl is up in the front. Absolutely. It's I'm the in limo the back. business. I feel like being driven around today, Joe. You know, or, I mean, uh, Dave. Dave, yes. Well, you know, the thing of it is, you know, today today is nothing but uh, alternative fuel and electric vehicles. Yeah. Here is a Zap. Now, the Zap car originally started out as a three-wheeler. Mm -hmm. But Mike, uh, being the uh, the illustrious technician that he is, yeah. decided, I want to make it a four-wheel four vehicle. How about that? Which gives it a lot more stability. But the beauty of what this is, he only works six miles round trip from his house to where he has to go to work. Sure. So why not? So he's converted this thing. He hasn't put a dime in it for as far as fuel. In fact, his boss won't let him plug it in at work because the boss thinks it's too expensive. But it's only, what, 25 cents? 25 cents, 30 cents. For what? Yeah. For To charge it up An during hour. the day. An hour. My goodness. All right, so how you doing, my friend? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your group is called Plug In America? Uh... Yes. Actually, that's uh, just one of the uh, groups that are out there. There's one of many. There's lots and of there them. are a lot of them. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, there yes. are a lot of them. Now, uh, you had something to do. How did you do this anyway? You got this from China. Uh, actually, I got it from Electric City Motors out of Escondido. All right, uh, but it's made in China. It's made in China and sold here as a Zap Zebra. There's two different models, the three-wheel three -wheel car, and then they also make a pickup. Yeah. They look just alike. Is that right? And uh, I decided I'd seen this up there and it was already cut up they had made a commercial out of it and took the front wheel out of it mm -hmm. so i liked the way it looked with four wheels so i made it a four-wheel car and then had the front end reformed and been using it ever since now obviously this is sort of the wave of the future and a lot of people are trying to get away from this whole gasoline thing yes um you know how quickly is this technology do you think going to come online so the average person is going to be using this well, I think in the situation that I'm in, I live so close to work and the area that I live in, I think if uh, everybody could have two cars. You could have an electric car to do around town stuff, and mm -hmm. then if you needed to go to L.A. or something like that, then jump in your Cadillac or whatever else you have, you know. Pay, whatever it is. Pay the fuel for that day, but then you can drive this the rest of the week. And this yeah. has got a top speed of 50 miles an hour. So it goes 50. But this you're not going to go on the freeway with it. You're no. not going to want to go. It's a strictly an in-town car. It's a right. point A, point B. And it's not legal on the freeway, I would imagine. Um, Actually, it is. It would be? I was, the only reason it wouldn't go on the freeway is because you couldn't keep up with the speeds. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at this particular one, normally these things only do about 35, 40. Uh, this one's been souped up. I've got an extra battery and a switch where I can get it from 72 volts to 84 volts. Can we take a look at the batteries? Are they accessible or are they hidden? Uh, they're actually, hidden they're hidden. Head. There's yeah. three underneath the back seat, and then the other three are in the front. We can open up the trunk to... Hey, what's uh, the solar panel? Yes, that bat panel is to is help keep just the car battery up, just the 12 volt battery for the lights, the radio, the turn signals, that stuff. Uh -huh. The rest of the batteries are strictly for the motor, which is all in the back here. And they're not something that you need to actually, you know, get to it unless you're having some type of a problem. Yeah. Correct. And with battery technology, I mean, coming on strong, <clears throat> you know, he'll eventually, once the price of lithiums go down, he'll be able to convert these to a lithium battery, yeah. which will really give you some longevity, top speed. And, yes. and really, and that's, that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking right? for. That's yes. what you're looking yeah. for. And that's, Lithium's a, so expensive right that's now. That's the problem. About $7,500 to put it, six batteries in here to make it uh, for what I need, although that's it right. will eliminate half the weight and the the uh, area to put them in. Because and right now they won't even sell them to you. No, I can't even get them. Mm -hmm. I tried to get them, and you have to be... Uh, <laughs> you got to be somebody uh, yeah. way up there and have a in concept industry, car. Yeah. Yes, in the yes. industry, yeah, absolutely. And how much is this thing? If somebody wanted to buy one of these, uh, you can buy this same car for twelve thousand. Uh -huh. uh, it, but it's a three-wheel motorcycle. Yeah. This one happens to be converted to four, and then it has to be considered a car. Uh, so it has to be registered but, as a car. But I'm going to be bringing another car in called the Zen. Yeah. Which is a two-door. It's a real car, but it only goes twenty-five miles an hour. But it's a, it's a, again, it's a, it's an actual production around automobile. Town. So we'll bring that in too. Like so. he says, you got a car for your road trips and you got a car for he your day trips. You don't have to spend any money going to work. You know, I have a motorcycle, so that's what I use for my short trips. Right. It's the same concept. Yes. Exactly. Mike, thanks for coming in. Dave, thank no you problem. for coming hey, in. My pleasure. We're gonna go down.